Hello again, everybody. Beckley is here with Sensation Gaming, and this is well, as you can see, the Stanley Parable. So this new version came out, so I'm gonna play it because I've heard that it's quite interesting. So I thought, uh, why not share it with you guys? So let's get it started. This is quite cool feature right here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, so let's begin the game. Uh, end is never the end. Is never the end. I've I've been definitely playing the um, uh, first version of uh, Stanley Parable. And let me be honest. I like that very much. It's like simple game and yet it's simple but kind of complicated in the way that you can make choices and you think that it would be like easy but sometimes like they make you this is the actually story do of a man named I'm gonna Stanley. Show Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. I guess we are moving now. Okay. Hmm. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Well, I mean... I got some great feeling about this game, because... I'm just eager to play it, yeah. So. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. How about... No, yeah, no, come on. Okay, let's make this choice. Let's follow him. Let's see what's gonna happen. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided oh, to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Well, oh. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. There actually is none here, so... Yep. There was nothing here. No choice to make, oh. no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Oh, are you sure there is no reason to still be in here? Because I think there's something. It was baffling that Stanley was still shelf. just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. <laughs> yeah. You're kind of funny. But I don't Are listen you, to are you. Really still in the broom closet, standing around doing nothing. Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. Well, 
<clears throat> this broom is so interesting. I must look at it. I cannot. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. Well, I never would have thought to mention it. I don't care. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Of course. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. Oh, so there is a broom closet ending. Or not. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. Don't that you That or with drug money. Don't also, Stanley is addicted to drugs me. and hookers. You son of a gun. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. I'm dead. You got to this broom closet, Actually, explored it a I'm bit, here. and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical melody of some sort shut down your central oh, nervous no, system no. and you collapsed I'm here, don't keyboard. you worry about me. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Um... Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human <laughs> physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, oh. so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. I'm not step. I'm. I'm really going to see. At least I'm going to wait a minute. To see if something's gonna happen. Hmm. Quite interesting. Although I think he is done about this shit. She yeah. He's probably um. Done talking. But I'm gonna. See sit here and wait, I mean stand here and wait. Oh, you can crouch, whoa. That's some new stuff going on. I'm gonna wait here. Hmm, should I walk outside or not? Hmm? Hmm? I wonder, I wonder if I should, like, really go, it's, should I, like, go, oh, you too, unbelievable, oh, I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids, perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to, a fish, fungus, look, you can hammer out the details, I'm not particularly picky, I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again, oh, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, right. You're not gonna do it. You're not gonna wait. You're gonna say something. And I'm like pretty sure about that. But let, let me, let me. Coming to a staircase. Oh no! He walked upstairs to his boss's office. You son of a bitch, I'm going down. You made a trick. Where am I going down? Let's go up, actually. Let's go up. Let's go up to the boss's office. To the boss's office. Where is the boss's office? Is this the boss's office? Hello? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. 
What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. Two, but of course, Stanley four, couldn't possibly have five. known this. Yet incredibly, what? by simply pushing random buttons oh, on the keypad, Stanley happened to input dark, the correct yeah. code by sheer luck. By sheer Amazing. Luck. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Oh. Newly opened passageway. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hmm, this is quite interesting. I love it so far. Um, it is really great. No, really. Um, you should definitely play it if you want to experience. Descending deeper into the building, the chills of the game. realized he felt a bit. Peculiar. It's a really deep game. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt like more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Oh, there's the light. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Mm hmm. Actually, I think he walked right here. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Oh, this is a mind trick. Uh, he ain't mean to know that. The was not shut. He's gonna Stanley survive still had like every a man. opportunity to turn around and get back on track. No, no, no. He At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Okay, now I'm actually getting scared a little bit. This is a long hallway. What is this? What? 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 Is that loading, 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 loading? What? Oh! As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, it reflected that his life oh. had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was a very great loss, like plugging God. the eyeballs from a no. blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Oh, oh my God, I cannot. Oh my God. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated what? as the machine crushed every bone in his oh. body, killing him instantly. What? And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Huh? I cannot. It's like bitch blood. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. I know how this is going. The pacing of the situation. Wow. Like, is this like... Oh. The stuff that are in the game. It's like... The layout of everything, and this is what is this? Is this the two doors? Yeah. Hmm. What is this then? No. Button 
sometimes. Oh, credits. Oh, Kevin Brightening as the narrator. Hmm. Definitely a good narrator. So far. Maintenance room. An early version. An early version. Vision. Maintenance room. Hmm. The office. What is this? Oh, oh, I get it. Huh? Hmm. What is this? I don't know, this is so confusing, but I, I like it actually. Somehow it reminds me of uh, the Unfinished Swan. I don't know if you've ever played this game, but I did. And these, like, everything is white, and you paint with balloons. Subject question What? Why is it changing? Narrator emails. Oh! Like his emails, the lounge, an early version of the lounge, apartment timer. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Oh, oh, it's just the cargo lift. Cargo lit what okay this is all confusing. Let's go, let's go up here. This is quite interesting though. <laughs> oh this is uh, from left to right the oh evolution of standing. You can go in? Oh I guess this is the last Yeah this is the last one. Hmm <laughs> nice. Actually it's nice quite interesting what is here then countdown how many endings are there an early version of countdown bro. oh exit freedom ending countdown desk there are a lot of things right here what is this then Whoa, what is this? This must be something. What is this? I don't know. You cannot move anything. Mm -hmm. Trailer. So I'm not going here. So I'm gonna do, uh, the game is now escape menu. Oh, escape menu. You even have that. What's up here? Freedom ending again. Freedom ending. What is right? Something's right there. Something's right there. Office clock. You got everything. What? Oh, the editing of boss's office. What is this then? Narrator outtakes. <laughs> Let's go to the exit. I'm eager to see what's going on with this ending this probably is some ending I would say that yeah <laughs> oh look at these two how they wish to destroy one another uh, how they wish to control definitely. one another how they both wish to be free what what can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, I can't, actually. No, I'm perhaps not. Sometimes these black, things cannot darkness, be seen. Shadowness. But listen to me. 
You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape. What? Press quit. I'm back here. There's no other way oh, to I beat this game. Head. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now. That will be your only true choice. Whatever you do, stop? choose it. Don't let time stop? choose for you. Oh Don't my let god. Okay, let's... Oh my god. I cannot time watch this. What? Oh. What happened? What 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 is going on? Oh, begin the game again. Hmm. Okay. Okay, guys. This is a great adventure. We're gonna make as more as episodes as we can of this. Because this is an interesting game and I hope you will enjoy it, guys. And if you do, why not leave a like, comment, or even a subscribe if you want to support this channel and want it to grow. And think we are cool or not, does not matter. If you don't like it, does not matter either. But uh, thank you guys for watching, Peckily out, Sensation Gaming out, and bye bye.